um oh okay uh so the goal of this video is to be able to explain like different uh motor behavior concepts to three different groups of people so we're starting with a 10 year old and um so if you touch something that's hot your hand will send a message uh, all the way up to the brain telling you that you are uncomfortable and to move your hand quickly to avoid being burned which is going to be an example of um, a closed loop action. Um, so the second group that we are trying to talk to is a friend who is our age but has no background in motor control. And um, there are a multitude of sensory receptors in the brain that are responsible for receiving information from your motor neurons in your body. Those receptors will send that information to association areas in the brain which are just areas that interpret specific stimuli. Uh, these areas generate motor responses, which result in movements to react to the stimuli. For example, like when you touch a hot stove, the receptors in your hand send a sensory signal of pain to the brain. And in order to avoid getting burned, your brain generates a motor response to pull your hand away. And this response is considered closed loop because the feedback is generated directly after the action. Um, whereas an open loop response would occur during an action of longer duration and adjustments could be made during the reaction. So dear professor, when we're talking about this, when the body, when the body experiences a change in the environment, like jumping into a swimming pool, the thermal receptors in the skin are going to be sending electric synthesis to the brain um, via the myelinated sheets and this goes to the thalamus of the brain. And so when the pool water is colder than your body temperature, you're going to have that quick reaction for the second. And it's like a reflex, which happens at the spinal cord. And that is a, what we'll call a closed loop because you have such little time that you cannot really adapt to the reactions. And when you're swimming more time, then we will go into an open loop, which means that you have time to adapt. There is more information going into your, into your body there's the water going into your skin cells and then you see that kind of wrinkly skin. So by this time, you can decide to continue swimming, you will decide how to swim. And then the more you move, then there's more friction in the muscles, which will also cause uh, heat for your body. So all of this, you have a continuous loop of feedback and you are able to either get out of the pool, move, swim faster or slower, depending on how all this information is being processed in the brain. So you can see how these two examples um, compare to each other.